Flip it. Yeah, flip it. Uh, the left one. Left. Or the left, eh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it starts with your face. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can't. Can. So it says your life. Can you, can you check on your phone uh, if, if everything is going smooth? Because, you know, Satan be, be hella angry lately, man. Can. You know, so we got to check out some things. Move it on. You know? So check it out. We uh, we over here at the Royal African Museum in Brussels, together with the brothers. Yeah, I hear it's good. Together with the brothers of GMS Germany. You know, so uh, we're gonna go into it, man. We're gonna touch on some topics and some things that we saw in the uh, in the museum. Uh, before we start off, we wanna give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakakadash. The ones to the other apostles, great millstone. Peace and salutations to the like that that is spreading this word is a city and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. God, so like I said, man, we are at the Royal African Museum where these Belgium devils they got all kinds of stuff, artifacts, gems, stones, mm. hidden information. Even they even covered certain information, man. And and uh, when the Edomites saw that we was looking behind the curtains to see what what type of statues they was covering, mm -hmm. she so called came to lecture us, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go over certain things, man. But the first thing we we gonna go over is um, that that. Um, there's a certain reason that we was not supposed to, that we were supposed to kill all these these Canaanites, man. Because the, the the majority of the things that we saw in this museum is like voodoo and witchcraft and all these kind of crazy shit that Jake that Jake been doing, you know, back in West Africa, man. Back in, in the land of Ham, when we fled there 70 AD, we, 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 we had all kinds of crazy customs, man. Mm -hmm. That's you right. Know, I want to start off with this thing that I read inside. It's called um, the, uh, the you see the masks and the, then they call it the, the mask of the dancer. And the mask of the dancer represents um, a voodoo priest that um, he puts on the mask and uh, he tells all the people to bring rituals to the person that died and to show what great of person this man was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they bring all kinds of things that he was doing in his life. They talk about him. <clears throat> and then the, the man with the mask, he dances. And if the spirit is, if they don't perform the ritual good and the spirit is not happy with it, they say that spirit plagues the family uh, of whom uh, he was a family member. And if he is very angry, he plagues the whole community. Oh. You see, so they was doing all kinds of voodoo. And the Heavenly Father Yahweh said, when you go into this land, kill these people, man. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to take over the, the, their customs. You're going to take over uh, uh, their ways, you know. So you got the scripture in Judges. Go on. Go on. And someone grab Leviticus chapter 19. Okay. We're going to read the whole chapter. Okay. Go on. Judges chapter 2, verse 1. And an angel, Yahweh Shai, came up from Gilgal to Bochim and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you out of the land unto the land which I swear unto your fathers and I said I will like never... read it again. Come on. Judges chapter 2 verse 1. And an angel of Yahweh Yahawashai came up from Gilgal to Bokim and said I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I swear unto your fathers and I said I will never break my covenant with you. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. So the Heavenly Father was like, listen man, I'm going to bring you into this land, but you're not going to make a league with the inhabitants. Because they was doing all kinds of foul shit, man. Read on. You shall, you shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? Exactly. So we, we was... We had to throw down their altars and break everything that we saw that was uh, hedonistic. Now, when Esau came to take us from West Africa, that's what Esau did, man. Esau saw all kind of hedonistic things because that's also written in the in the museum that Esau came and he took all our hedonistic things and burned them. That's what Esau did because why? They laid their hands upon this book, man. They laid their hands upon the Bible. You see. So they did actually the things that we 
had to do coming into the land uh, of Israel, but we didn't do that, which formerly was known as the land of Canaan. Okay, so the Most High says, y'all didn't do this, man. Y'all had to wipe out these people, man. That was the order that was given to Joshua. Wipe out these people, because otherwise, read. John, verse 3. Wherefore, I also said, I will not drive them out before you, but they shall be as a thorn in your side, and their God shall be a snare unto you. Exactly. So that's what happened, man. The gods of these Canaanites became a snare unto us. We started to worship their gods. We started to worship the entities that they was praying to, man. So when you go into this into this museum, the Royal African Museum, you see all kinds of entities, man. Crazy entities. Um, the brother behind the camera, he uh, he uh, spoke uh, to me about um, uh, Langaman, Langaman, right? Yeah. Which is the entity with the uh, with the smoking pipe. Papa Legba. Papa Legba. Papa Legba. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, not Langaman. Papa Legba. Okay. You know which the Haitians still use today. Yeah. You know, that's where it all came from, man. And and nowadays, our people call it to be spiritual and to be, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, worshiping your uh, your ancestors and stuff like that. But those were all entities, man. Those are all entities which we we ought to um, um, give me Romans Romans chapter one verse twenty five. And you finish that up. If he finishes that, then you read it. Verse 4, and it came to pass when the angel... So read, read verse 3 again. Judges chapter 2, verse 3. Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as a thorn in your side, and their gods shall be a snare unto you. Exactly, the gods shall be a snare unto you. Why is that? Because the Heavenly Father eventually punished us for dealing with these spirits and dealing with these enemies. That was the snare, which is a trap. You know, and what, what happened uh, many times was that these entities would turn back onto us. We would worship it, we would worship the entities, and then they would turn their backs onto us. That's why the, the information in the, in the museum also said, like, if you didn't do it the right way, they're going to jack you up. Right. They would ter terrorize the whole village. People would die left to right from right. sicknesses and stuff like that. That's what you read, man. But what, what is that really talking about? That's the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. So the, our people was worshiping the spirit that uh, the the create the spirit that was created rather than the the the, the power that created them. So read this. Yes. Romans 125. Oh, yes. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? So our people changed the truth of the Most High into a lie. Read and worship the uh, so like and serve the creature more than the Creator. We serve the creature more than the Creator, man. That was our downfall. So the Most High did all kinds of things with us. It's gonna say it. Who is blessed forever? Amen. Yeah. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is blessed forever, Amman. But we wasn't worshiping uh, him. And I say we, and uh, with saying we, I mean the children of Israel. But because we pray, of course, that back in those days, we was doing righteous in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Amen. We pray that. Verse 26. For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For this cause the Heavenly Father gave us up to vile affections. You don't? For even their woman, they changed the natural use into death. Which is against nature. They became dykes. They became lesbians. Even our women did that. You don't? Verse 27. And likewise also the men. Likewise also the men. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Burnt in their own lust toward one another. Towards one another. So men stopped dealing with the woman. The natural use of the woman. And they burned with the natural lust towards each other. So me and the brother behind the camera. We was looking at the picture. And it said the chief of the, of the tribe together with his wife right. Come. 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 Right there. and we called the staff we was like hey, wait 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 wait. Come. this is not right this is not right. right yeah it is right and i think the staff he himself was congolese he said no that is right so there were these were two men mm -hmm. these were two men mm -hmm. and in, in congo they have also certain rituals amongst the tribes to to have uh, uh sodomy uh, with uh, two men two men which that all comes from from um from these hamites man they they made yeah Canaanites. They made dildos and all kinds of things of wood, fucking each other in the ass and shit. That's right. That's that witchcraft, man. I got that. Yeah. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter twelve. I'm gonna just start on verse three. Mm -hmm. For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of the holy land, mm -hmm. whom thou hatest for doing most obvious works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices. Yeah, the, those are those Hamites, those Canaanites, man.
the most I hated them, man, because they did the most abominable things, man. That's why the most I said, hey, listen, you go into the land, you claim the land, this land is going to belong unto you, uh, my, my servant Israel, man, who is, who is Jacob. You know, because these people that were in the land, they was doing the most odious things, man, which is, the, the, that word means hateful. Okay? So the most I had to sweep them out of the land, man. But he ordered the children of Israel to take them all out. Guess what? The scripture that the brother just read said we didn't do it. So that's why they became a, 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 a thorn in our side and a, 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 a snare unto us, man. Which is a trap. That became our fall. You see? So uh, that was it? That was it? Yeah, let me um, see. Yeah, finish this Romans. Romans 127 again. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burnt in their own lust towards one another. Men with the uh, it's like a man with men working that which is unseemly. Men with men working that which is unseemly. If you is is the na nature shows you itself that this is not it's not usual, man. The man is the dick, he puts that in the woman. What you can't if you take two two plugs, you can't do nothing with that, man. Mm. <laughs> you see, that's already obvious. Plus, two men cannot procreate together, man. That's two right. females cannot procreate together. So nature itself shows you what the natural use of a man and a woman is. But we changed that. The children of Israel changed that, and we started worshiping the creature more than the cre uh, a creator. That's why also. Inside, uh, you see the worshiping of, of the heifers, mm -hmm. you know, the yeah. bulls. You saw, you saw the West Africans with all the big. Did you see that picture? The West Africans was posting with, um, with all these big uh, cows, and then they had the, the huge horns, man. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. saw the cow, the cow inside, yeah. and you had to roll these things to get information yeah. about yeah, what yeah, type yeah, of cows yeah. they was yeah. they was worshiping. But out of all the animals, that's what they show, those cows. Yeah, man. With the yeah. big ass horns. Yeah. That's when right. You, when you look up um, the statue of Baal, mm -hmm. you see you see exactly that one, man. Yeah. With the big good. horns and then the ball. Yeah. The ball on, <laughs> on, on top of the <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like the ball. I got a quick scripture. Ron, read. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Mm -hmm. And it reads, The thing that have been, it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun there's no new thing under the sun so this kept happening over and over again man then you can think about like why why is this happening because israel was was um uh, we as a nation we have to learn what what uh, uh what wickedness is in order to understand the righteousness so we went through all these things man we disobeyed the heavenly father now he's gathering his elect to show the people their transgressions, man. That's right. That's why he told Ezekiel, which he, that what he said unto Ezekiel is the same thing that that um, I say that that we have to take into account, which is go speak unto my people and tell my people their transgressions, man. God. That's what that's we right. that's what we are doing. And looking at this history makes us just hey, man, you you, you be like man, and our people did crazy things, man. Two men posting in a black and white picture, man. Talking about their husband and wife. What the fuck are you talking about? We said this is a mistake, man. The, 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 the thing that's written under the picture does is not right. They, they said, yes, that is right. Because our people turned into a bunch of homosexuals. And already, even in the time of what? What was it? Um, King Solomon? Uh, the changing of sex? Oh, yeah, look it up. The transgender uh, scripture. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon. I have it right here. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 26. Disquieting of good men. Forgetfulness of good turns. Defiling of souls. Changing of kind. Disorder in marriages. Mm -hmm. Adultery and shameless uncleanliness. That's what our people are, are into, man. You know, that's what our people are into. And... That's what gave these devils the upper hand, you know, in ruling onto us. Okay, you have the precept? Okay, read. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1. When the Lord thy power shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and have cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, the Girgashites, 
the Amorites and the Canaanites and the uh, Parasites and the Hivites 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 yeah. and the Jebusites seven nations greater than greater and mightier than thou mm -hmm. and when thou and when the Lord thy power shall deliver them before thee thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them thou shalt utterly destroy them don't leave none of them man but guess what our people didn't do that man mm -hmm. they was like ah oh, yeah let's just spare them and that's also the reason why the most I punished uh, King Saul man that's right. because he didn't utter de uh, utterly destroy them yeah. you know he left some of them alive that's he right took spoil you want the that? most I said burn everything yeah, yeah. You, you got it yeah I got it John, read it. this is a uh, first Samuel 15 and 18 and the Lord said uh, and the Lord sent thee on journey on a journey and said go and utterly destroy the sinners the Amalekites and fight against them until they be consumed mm -hmm. wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of Yahweh Basham Yahushai but this but this fly upon the spoil and this ev and this evil in the sight of Yahweh Basham Yahushai and Saul said unto Samuel, yea, I have obeyed the voice of Yahweh, and have gone the way which the Lord sent me, and have brought Agag, the king of Amalek, and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But the people took the spoil, sheep and oxen, the sheaf of the things which should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto Yahweh thy power in Gilgal. Exactly, so he blamed the people, but that's not a good thing um, to do. Because the scripture says, um, to obey is better than sacrifice. Give me um, Sirach, Sirach chapter 10, verse 3. The book of Sirach chapter 10, verse 3. An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Exactly. And also uh, it says, uh, as the king. Yeah, verse, verse 1. Let me oh, start verse so 1. Uh, Sirach 10 and 1. A wise judge will instruct, instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Verse 2, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what man of man, the ruler of the city is, such are all that dwell there. Yeah, so he wanted to point it out to the people, but if he put down strict orders mm -hmm. that came from the Most High in the beginning, then the people wouldn't have taken the spoils, man. You know? The Most High said, destroy everything utterly. These were the Amalekites, man, the first of the nations. What does that represent, the first of the nations? They was the first devils to put their, their uh, filthy claws upon us, man. The moment we came out of Egypt, they, they started attacking us, man. Meanwhile, yeah. the glory of Yahweh Basham Yahushua was known amongst all the heathens. You know, how the Heavenly Father delivered us out of Egypt, which Egypt was the kingdom back then, man. They, were, they became so great and so powerful. That was the kingdom and it was known all over the world, the known world back then. And then what did the Amalekites do? They, they jumped on us. Now here it is, Samuel or um, uh, uh, King Saul gets the order to destroy them utterly and he doesn't do it. Mm -hmm. Then he points at the people, but guess who is the, who's the ruler, ruler of the people? He's responsible. It's, he's responsible, man. Yeah. The same thing as in the military, man. If you have the, the, mm -hmm. the officer is responsible, man. Yes, yeah. He's responsible. The commander is responsible uh, over his team. Right. You know? Uh, I still got to finish this. Go on. So back in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 2. And when the Lord thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou, thou shalt not give unto his son, That's nor right. his daughter shall thou take unto thy son for they will turn away thy son from following me exactly that they may serve other gods yep. so will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly exactly so the first the reason that we came into the land of, of Ham in the first place is because we was doing that man we was giving our the sons and daughters in marriage with these Canaanites with these Hamites Right. Most of said, "Don't do that." Still did it. Most like kicked our asses into West Africa, man. He he made us flee all the way to West Africa. Now there, all of a sudden, we got settled there, and we still did did all kinds of abominations, man. You had a majority of the people, uh, uh, no, a big a part of the people, they turned to uh, to Islam, 
you know, around 700 uh, uh, AD, they turned to Islam. When that was being pushed, they became the Moors. And, yeah. and when we walked inside, we even saw Moors right. holding uh, 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 Israelite uh, um, females uh, like slaves, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Remember that Edomite? She said that it was, it was a so-called Arab. And yeah. I looked at the brother right here. I said, no, that's, got it. that's, uh, that's Jake, it? man. Yeah, show, show the picture. That's Jake. You know? It was a Jake. Yeah. Yeah. He had she a tried to yeah. face and it huh? looked like Dan. a Jake too. Huh? It was the same. They, 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 no, they she said she said it was a Moor. No, she said no, it was she Arab. Arab. Yeah, she said mm -hmm. the thing from the like us. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. But yeah. but remember the the, 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 the statue they were sewing went inside. The guy was the, the first the first statue mm -hmm. they saw. I thought first it was a priest because it was because it saw from behind but it's the same thing. It was a dark skin man. No. Oh, it's that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The same and then uh, the brother said uh, it looks like a garment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this one. I got that one. For yeah, sure. this so. one. Yeah, man. This guy. It's the same one, man. Exactly, man. Show yeah. it. So they're in there deceiving. A little bit closer because yeah, the man. reflection. The funny thing was how they put the cards on the Gone. Gone. Deuteronomy 28, verse 56. Gone. So so you had the Moors and then you had our people in West Africa and, and uh, there was a slave trade man. So eventually yes, Africans sold so called Africans sold so called Africans which is Israelites selling Israelites. Yes, that, that did happen because our people was wicked towards each other, man. Right. Because the curses yeah. that the Mosai said, uh, start with um, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, the curses that the Mosai said would come upon us, mm -hmm. they did come upon us, man. This is Deuteronomy chapter 8, 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the, the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Mm -hmm. That's right. So this is one of the curses that came upon us, man. This is, uh, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be toward the evil, shall be evil toward his brother. His eye shall be evil towards his brother. So we was we was deceiving each other, selling each other out. You know, just like how you have uh, sellouts of our people nowadays, man. You, how how what is this uh, guy, Terry? Um, Cruz. Is it Terry Cruz? Yeah. That, that, that big buff dude. Yeah. Oh, the big buff dude. Yeah, about, Terry Cruz. He's talking about um, um, canceling out white supremacy oh, brings up order. black supremacy. Right. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Right. What the fuck are you talking about? Can I say something about that? You know? But eventually, black supremacy, so called black supremacy, will come to this earth, man. Yeah. But you need to uh, uh, switch the black supremacy with Israelite supremacy, man. That's right. Because we are, we are the children of the Most High. We yeah. are kings of the earth, man. Khan. You see? So we are the supreme people of the earth. But then you have our sellout. Hey, man. You have our sellout females, man, walking happily ever after with the, with the so called white man, man. We get an example coming. Yeah, man. The example right there, man. Remember, oh, can two, un, can two, uh, Slakia, not can two walk together. Um, he that, um, what is that, what is that scripture? Through the hand joined. Yeah, though hand, hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, man. Because during the slavery and during the, the colonization of, of the, of the, of Belgium, they, they took our females too, man. And our females sold, our females sold out our men also. That snake, you know, and, and they had a lot of, yeah. a lot of things that were, it was Jake wrestling the snake. Yeah. Khan. We're gonna go Jake wrestling the snake, man. Yeah, we're gonna go into that later. Okay, Khan, Khan. So first read them. I wanted to uh, go into how we rejected the statues. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Second Kings uh, chapter 17. In verse 14, mm -hmm. notwithstanding, they were not here, but hardened their necks, like to the neck of their fathers, mm -hmm. that did not believe in the Lord their power. Mm -hmm. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant mm -hmm. that he had made with their fathers, and his testimonies which he testified against them. Mm -hmm. And they followed vanity and became vain, and went after the heathen that were round about them. Yeah, you know what's vain? To make to carve a, a, um, a puppet of wood and say that that's your God and he's gonna hunt you if you don't if you don't do what he says that's what we just saw inside right they carve a statue of wood 
a scary looking motherfucker though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you look at it, you like, oh, there. Yeah. And then they, they give him the mirror. Uh-huh. So you see yourself, you're gonna be like, no, my spirit right, you, right, automatically right, right, right. Uh, have the feeling right, like he's it. gonna capture my, right, my, right, my right. soul or something, mm-hmm. man. Right, right, right. Scary looking motherfucker. Mm-hmm. They make it with their own hands and they say like he's gonna hunt your ass if you don't do what he says. Mm-hmm. All Jamaica, these type of the things, tubbies. man. Right, yeah. right, right. The tubbies in Jamaica, mm-hmm. the ghosts. Yeah, uh, to finish it. Concerning whom the Lord had charged them, they they should not do like them. This is the last one I wanted to mm-hmm. give. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their power, and, and made them molten images, even two calves, and made a grove and worship all the hosts of heaven and serve Baal. And serve Baal because that grove goes into the word Astaroth, mm-hmm. which is the 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 chief of uh, of uh, Satan, man, mm-hmm. the chief demon of Satan. That is Astaroth, you know, and then of course the, the grove also goes into a swept place in the forest where they were set up an altar, you know, that is also what it goes into. But they worship Baal, which Baal is Satan, man. Yeah. And, and just, just to say, because, you know, when you look at the Baphomet, he has, he has two genders, right. you know, yeah. so that confusion of lust and, and sexuality, that, that, in, that immoral act of same gender sex, it comes from him. Right. You know? okay. It, it, it stems from exactly from him. He got breasts and a penis, and, and then he got children around Can. him. You know, so that confusion Tobit, stems Tobit from him. one and five. You see? So That's I, right. Yeah. Give me Tobit one and five. <clears throat> you know, so Baal, which that Baal also goes into the heifer, which the heifer is the cow, that cow, and um, the golden calf. Then inside, inside the uh, yeah, which goes back to the golden calf. But then inside of the museum, uh, you also saw that the 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 Jakes that fled into West Africa, they they believed that this calf, uh, that this cow was uh, holy also, man. Right. Posing with the cows and mm-hmm. stuff like that, mm-hmm. letting the horns grow out, mm-hmm. super super high. Almost a meter. Yeah, <laughs> talking about they are blessed because of the milk and the uh, and the uh, and the. Uh, um, uh, the work that they do in the field mm-hmm. you know that's also why these uh, uh, people in india worship cows man right. they say the cow is holy because it brings forth milk but that milk of the cow is not meant for the, for, for for people in the first place man mm-hmm. you know yeah. right but that's why they say yeah a cow is holy why because it brings milk goat brings milk mm-hmm. humans bring milk sheep bring milk a goat doesn't bring milk by the way a goat Right? No, no. You, you have a female goat. Yeah, you got goat milk. Goat yeah, goat milk. Yeah. yeah. So you have a female goat. Yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes you tend to think that the goat is the male and the sheep is the female. Yeah. But you have female and male goats. Yeah, man. So give me that. There's Tobit 1 and 5. Now all the tribes which which together revolted and the house of my father, Naphtali. Yeah, you hear it again, man. All the tribes of uh, that revolted, man. Our people was constantly fighting against the Heavenly Father. Constantly going against the will of the Heavenly Father, man. So of the tribes that revolted, read. And the house of my father, Naphtali, mm-hmm. sacrificed unto the heifer, Baal. They sacrificed unto the heifer, Baal. Mm-hmm. And this is the book of Tobit, and Tobit didn't do that. He said the house of my father, they were sacrificed unto the heifer, Baal. So this shows you that the cow, the cow and Baal go hand in hand. That's right. Which is Satan, man. He was going to say that, that he didn't work it. Yeah. Read. This is uh, for six. But I alone went often to Jerusalem at the feast, as it was ordained unto all the people of Israel by an everlasting decree, having the first fruits and tents of increase, with uh, which that, like a with that which was first shorn, and them gave I at the altar to the priest, the children of Aram, uh, Aaron. Aram, yeah. So, so Tobit was keeping the customs, man. He saw his his father's house was going off. So that shows you also that amongst amongst our people, there was wicked and still righteous people, man. The same thing was told to um to um to uh, Elijah, man. I got I got the uh, Romans eleven. Yeah, Romans eleven. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's Romans eleven, verse uh, four. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me start at three. Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Before. But what said the answer of Yahweh Basham Yahushai unto him? I have reserved my for myself 
7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Yeah, and the same thing is going on today, man. So Elijah was like, hey, it looks like, it looks like uh, I'm the only one, uh, I'm the only one left. The same thing going on right now. You might think, and you might look at the, the videos, the subscribers that the other apostles have, that the brothers in, in GMS have, and be like, oh, that's not near 144,000, man. But you don't know what the Most High has reserved, man. The Most High has people worshiping him in places that you don't even know about, man. That's right. Knowing the truth, bowing down in the name of your trying to keep the customs to the best of their ability. The, the Most High has his, his, uh, his reserves, man. It's, it's, it's out there, but you, that, that you don't see it clearly in that number, 144,000, doesn't mean that it's not there. We soon about to go out of here, and it doesn't mean like, oh, because I don't see it yet, it means that we're gonna, it's gonna take 10 more, uh, 10 more years, man. The book of Acts speaks about in one day, 5,000, 6,000 people was converted, man. That, those days is coming back again, too. You know, people are just gonna be converted, and people are, come, are gonna come in the truth. If you look at the comment board sometimes, you see YouTube channels, you be like, it just says, um, uh, uh, just a, a random Jake name from America, Jason Moore. Uh, you see just a Shalom Elder Apostles. That's not a GMS name. That's not a GMS channel. But they are they are on the comment boards, man. They're That's responding, right. man. You see brothers with their regular names, Common thing and say shalom on me all about shimmy on shy about shimmy on kadash, you know, brokata. Yeah. yeah, because it's not only the elect that has to be sealed, but the uh, innumerable multitude also they have to also be um, in this truth, you know, they have to hear it first because they they also have to uh, go through uh, some things, you know, yeah, and, okay. and, and they have uh, to build up their faith and everything, you know, yeah, and and their faith sometimes their faith is going to be enough, man. That's why the scripture says, blessed is, is he uh, unto whom the Most High uh, uh, doth not impute sin, without oh, works. Some people are not going to have any works, man. They just believe. They just believe. Precept. You know, but walking through this museum, you don't see nothing of that, man. The, this brother was looking for, for fringes. I said, you ain't going to find no fringes, man. Why do you think if, if you would find fringes in the West African Museum, Okay. That, mean, that that would have mean that we wouldn't wouldn't have to go into slavery because we was keeping the laws then. But because you saw all kinds of abominations, crazy masks of, of, of water buffaloes <laughs> doing ceremonies with that, that's the reason that we went into slavery, man. Right. Give me Baruch of four and six. I got that. Do you have a precept? Yeah. Okay, read. It's Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts and your thoughts, neither you waste my ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yes, please. Yeah, because you brought out that we don't see the number right now. We yeah. Maybe the Lord gonna bring up in the last minute, wake up the elect, man. So yeah. we don't see it. So, so we'll be completely yeah. like yeah. 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 So we have to trust in the process, man. Yeah. That's right. That's, That's right, man. Sir. Trust the process, man, and don't be worried about numbers and stuff. Yeah. Because what happened to King David when he was worried about numbers? What happened, man? A fearful, fearful angel came, came and slaughtered a lot of people, man. Don't boy, don't be worried about no numbers, man. That's right. And what, what, what happens to the people that are worried about numbers? They, they go into sat Satanism, man. Yep. Because yeah. numerology is Satanism. Yeah. You know, so we're not concerned about that, man. We know Yahweh Hashem is gonna hasten the day for the elect's sake anyway. Yeah. So we just do our thing and we see what's going on, man. Satan is blocking us from every side. We went live already today. What was Satan doing? Taking down the feet, doing all kinds of bullshit. Cut me off. The same thing with this brother. He was in a different car. It also got cut off, messed up on all sides, man. It's just fucked up, man. But hey, it's prophecy too. Amos 8 and, uh, 8 and 11, man. You know, there's gonna come a time, man. That's right. Where, where, ain't, where ain't you not gonna hear the word? You know? So, uh, we don't use, uh, yeah, it's finished. Oh, it's finished? It you had something? Yeah, that song that, that you just uh, quoted with the uh, imputed, not iniquity. Yeah, okay, bring that up. This is uh, Psalms 32, we verse 1. Wait, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, 
and in whose spirit there is no guile. Yeah, man. So there are going to be certain people that in whose spirit there is not going to be found any guile, man. Of course, you have the elect, but some people, they, they are not deep like the men that are in the highways and byways uh, right now, man. But they just believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're not keeping the Sabbath the right way. They're not doing everything accordingly. They can't be of the, of the 144,000 because, give me that, uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 3. Can I speak on this? Uh... Yeah, wait, uh, let's let's it's read book of Revelation to the 14 verse 3. And they sung a new song, it's like, and they sung uh, as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. So only the 144,000 is gonna have the 100% truth, but then you're gonna have the one third. You're going to have people the, uh, amongst the innumerable multitude that believe, but they are just not that deep, you know? And then you might think like, oh, isn't that then going to be the other Israelites from the other camps that that teach in another name? And no, man, because they are the teachers. They're supposed to know better. And they're leading away the flock. What does the scripture say? They have the bloods of the people upon their hand, man. Okay. The Most High is not going to be uh, uh, merciful unto them. They're leading away the flock. If you tell the people that you can just take the RFID chip, man, it's not the mark of the beast. You're a demon, man. And the Most High is going to destroy you. God. He's probably going to let you take that chip, man. Like, the say, like it says in Jeremiah chapter 13. Okay? So anyone has any precepts? Otherwise, we're going to go into um, Leviticus. Oh, yeah. Read Baruch. Baruch chapter 4 verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. Exactly. That's what, why we was uh, um, uh, uh, sold into slavery, man. So I told this brother, like, you ain't gonna find no, no uh, blue border and fringes, man. Because that's after this bullshit that you see over here, all these masks and stuff, that's when we got our asses in slavery, man. We fled from the Romans, 70 AD. These devils just came away on the other side, man. And the same time we had the Arabs persecuting us into the land of Africa. Yeah. That's and right. And then at the same time we had Hamites capturing us, man, selling us plus our own people. And then we was going on. And then we on top of that. And we was going on. Okay. You know, summoning up spirits to protect us. Hey, no, ain't no spirit is is able to fight against the Most High, and and they won't, man. They won't. The scriptures speak about that the angels tremble before the throne of the Most High, man. You got evil angels and you got good angels. You know, the left-hand side angels are set up to do wicked, uh, uh, to, not to do wicked, I mean to uh, to um, uh, let the wicked things come to pass. And the angels on the right-hand side are according to the righteous things that need to come to pass, man. For example, when a man is listening to the truth, the angel is right there, man. He can seal. He can. Uh, he can open his mind, man, to understand this truth. You know. But the angel can also be there and block his ears. You know, just for the edification that that has to come out. The angel can be there, having an, uh, his hands off his ears, and then when it's done, okay, close his ears, keep it moving. We've seen that, man, many times. We done. Done. He were delivered unto the enemies. Mm -hmm. For seven, for you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. We were sacrificing unto devils, man. Entities. We were sacrificing unto entities, man. Now that's the point. And that's what you see inside of this museum. You see a lot of things that are entities, man. And uh, I was standing next to a couple of Edomite females. And then we, they was reading like, oh, they, they worshipping uh, ghosts and stuff. And it, the ghost is going to terrorize them and hunt them if they don't do the will of these entities. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, and then she kept walking. I was like, yeah. And, and, and that's fucked up, man, because she's talking about my people. Yeah. She's talking about our people, man. You know, like, what are they doing? Shame, shame. Yeah, man, it's a shame, man. Come. It's a shame. And, and who had to come eventually? to, to uh, set that thing straight, Esau did it, man. Because That's right. he burned the shit out of all our uh, uh, demonic uh, altars and uh, and groves and stuff like that, man. But at the same thing, time, he put his hands on the children of the Most High. Which made the Most High still angry. Yes, my children is worshiping entities, but you, 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 go, you go touch my people, man. You're gonna get jacked up for that too, man. You know? So, uh, any other pieces? Yeah. Okay. Jeremiah 4 and 22. 
For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are such as children. Mm -hmm. They have known. They have none understanding. Mm -hmm. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. They have no knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. So they knew that with all kind of rituals, chop off the chicken head, put the blood in a bowl, you know, sprinkle the blood upon the people, uh, uh, make them heal from all kinds of things. That's the instruments of cruelty, man. Wise to be evil. On the left hand side, they knew how to how to uh, how to heal and to uh, to cure people, man. But not on the right hand side. Because the scripture and wisdom of Solomon speaks about that it was neither plaster, no mollifying herb, man. Grab that real quick. Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, wisdom of Solomon. 16 verse 12. You got it. Can read it? Yeah. It's Wisdom of Solomon chapter 16 verse 12. For there was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health. But thy word, O Yahweh, which healeth all things. Exactly, the word of Yahweh healeth all things. But our people was not wise to do it in righteousness. They was wise to do it in wickedness. So with the wickedness, with the left hand side, they was able to cure you, protect you, you know, from other people that work with spirits and entities. But now, our, us brothers in the truth, we are we are not we are not doing rituals and stuff like that. The only thing we're doing is we, we, we put faith in Yahweh Bashem Yashai and we believe that we are being protected, man. We well, know that people do voodoo on us. Yeah, we know that people are trying to mess us up, huh. do witchcraft and shit. We know that, man. But we believe that it's not going to work, man. Like the scripture says, man, no enchantment against Jacob. Yeah, we're just going to take it. Yeah? Look first. Grab that, man. So read that again. So like the wisdom of Solomon, chapter um, 16 and verse 12. For it, was, for it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Yahweh, which healeth all things. That's right, man. The word of Yahweh healeth all things. But if you don't have faith, that's not going to work, man. That's not going to work. Because that's another thing, man. Uh, we was looking at the Bibles. Oh, it was with you. Uh, it said uh, La Biblia. And then it said down there that our people was um, uh, now um, reading the Bible. and. Uh, and worshiping the God of the Bible, but they tend to go back to their um, to their uh, demon worshiping and, uh, and yeah. entities still, man. Customs, kind of yeah, on the on the low. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's what our people still. Said, faint, uh, the Lord said, "You you worship me faint, faintly, yeah. faintly, like half-hearted, half-half. Like in, in the front of in front of Israel, they was worshiping them, but when they go home, they do their own their own wicked customs, wicked customs and you know? rituals and stuff like that." Which that was supposed to, uh, uh, they had to be put to death for that, man. That That's what it says in, uh, what is it, Leviticus 17, man. Is that the one that talks about if a man comes to you? And exactly. yeah, he's, he speaks uh, about another uh, about Worshipping another, another God. Worship. He's supposed to put him to death. Put him to death. And you're supposed to be the first one to put hands on him. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, that's got, it. Can you grab it? I got the, can you grab that? I don't know the numbers. <laughs> you have a phone, right? Yes. This is uh, Numbers 23 and 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Exactly. Neither is there any di divination against uh, Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and, and of Israel, what had Yahweh wrought? Exactly. So there's no enchantment against Israel, no, no divination against Jacob, man. You know, so Jacob, Israel is protected if you believe, man. If you don't believe that you are protected, and if you believe you need you need garlic. And for, we was talking about this yesterday, man. It's the spirit, man. Come. If you think you, you need garlic by your by your doorpost. Mercury. Mercury. If you believe that you need mercury by your doorpost. If you believe that you have to walk after 12 o'clock, you have to walk backwards in your house. <laughs> you believe all those things. You That's don't have right. faith in your house, man. That's what? Man, I go in my house in the night, I leave my door open, man, what? <laughs> I grab some stuff, I grab my dog, I go outside again. Mm -hmm. I leave my door open, man. Mm -hmm. We And we have seen entities, man. Some brothers have seen entities, man. Right. You know, so these things happen also. But hey, as long as you put your trust in your house, mm -hmm. nothing is going to come against you, man. No entity, no weapon, nothing. Read. This is uh, Sirach 33 and 1. There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, but in temptation even again he will deliver him. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, was it 13? So I can read it again. Go on. Sirach 33 and 1. There shall no evil happen unto him that feared Yahweh Basham Yahushai, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. Yeah, speak on it. Go on, because the brother was speaking about that. You know, we are, as men of the Lord, we shouldn't be um, afraid. You know, there's no enchantment against us. And the scripture says, there shall no evil, hap hap no evil happen unto you. You know, if you fear Yahweh Basham Yahweh you shouldn't fear these entities. You should fear the create the Creator. That's right. You know, that's right, man. That's right. So, yeah, read it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 6. If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or the he's looking, looking for this, and he's just yeah, he has to like it. Good. If uh, read again, Deuteronomy 13, 6. If thy brother, or the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or thy wife, of thy bosom. Or their friend, which is as their own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, were seven, namely, of the gods of the people which are round about you. Which were wh whose gods? Those the Canaanite gods, man. Which even today, these devils, these Soka white people, are still worshipping them on the low, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you, they celebrate uh, carnival, which which goes back to Bacchus, which is Bacchanal. Which goes back to Canaanite gods, mm -hmm. you know. You no, know, Bacchanal, Bacchanal goes back to Roman gods, Lakia. But then you have, um, then you have Christmas, mm -hmm. which Christmas goes back to the birth of uh, of Nimrod. Okay. Then you have uh, what else? Easter. Mm -hmm. It goes uh, back to Ishtar, which Ishtar is the mother of uh, of uh, of Tammuz. Mm -hmm. Tammuz and Nimrod, by the way, because Nimrod yeah. was the son of, of Ceramesis and he had sex with her and they created Tammuz, man. New Year's, you, New, yeah, that's Janus, that's also a Roman, Roman uh, god, you see? And our people like to celebrate it even to this day, man. But what, what, what leaded our people uh, into that, man? Death, hell, destruction, slavery. Then we still doing it. So that shows you also that Hey, in the times to come, a lot of our people is not gonna make it, man. Again, man. Yeah. Not gonna make it, man. And uh, like how we were talking about how they didn't, they were doing behind the scenes. There's yeah. still customs. I got a precept right here. God. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter three and verse ten. And yet, for, for all this, her treacherous sister Judah hath not turned unto me with her whole heart, but feignedly save the lord and when you go into that word finally it's like pretending yeah it's not half, whole half. Hard, it's half half man half step yeah yeah okay. and they were still trying to keep the customs of the, the people that they were with and try to stay with the the lord too or or even started to push the customs into their children and mm -hmm. doing that you forget your own customs you know yeah, what man. I mean? given the customs of the the land of the people and then he grows up teaches not the lord's customs but the customs of the Canaanites and the other nations that they were living with. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, man. S sneaky behind closed doors, man. Mm -hmm. Doing wi uh, wickedness. And that's why the Most High was 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 uh, cruel uh, like that, man. Like, hey, if you see somebody do it, put him to death immediately, man. Just put him to death. It's like it. Put him to death. If there is a witness, put him to death. Because otherwise, evil is going to spread in the land. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. The Heavenly Father didn't want evil to spread in the land, man. So finish it. So yeah, finish it. Deuteronomy 13 and 7 again. Namely, of the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee, who are far off from thee, from the one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. Verse 8. Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shalt thy eye, it's like a, neither um, shalt thine eye pity him, neither shalt thou spare, neither shalt thou conceal him. Verse 9. But thou shalt surely kill him. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt surely kill him. Surely. You see that? One hundred percent. With no mercy, man. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, you're gonna be put to death, man. If you're trying to bring someone else from our nation into, into uh, uh, um, worshiping false gods and entities and stuff like that, man. Mm -hmm. That was the law. Okay. But guess what? Our people fell for for that trap, man. Our people fell for for that for, for that thing. Yeah, yeah for those snares. snares. That the Lord said they was gonna. He told us. He warned us. You know, when we went into the land, don't, don't. Take on to the customs of the people around about you. Exactly. Slaughter them. Yeah, slaughter you them. You know, burn yeah. everything. Exactly. But what do we do? We didn't listen, man. Yeah, listen, man. man. Yeah, Just man. like Saul. He didn't listen. You yeah, know? man. So that's that we get we got what we 
we did. You know, you got what you deserve, yeah, man. Yeah, ex exactly. So now we need to look for the Heavenly Father, Father ten can't, times can't, more. Can't, can't, man. Mm. Okay. Wholeheartedly. Uh, not half so, hearted. so not even did they not keep the law of not worshiping other gods, but they also did not keep the law of putting a man to death that worship other gods. Right. So instead of doing that, they they be like, oh, what's that about? What's that about? Yeah, him, teach those me, customs man. keep yeah. keep going. Yeah, man. Give you know? me um, Proverbs chapter five, mm -hmm. verse one. Read, read on. Verse um, select like verse ten. And thou shalt now verse nine. But thou shalt surely kill him. That hand shall be first upon him to put mm -hmm. him to death, and afterwards the pe the hand of all the people. Verse yeah, man. Like that was the that was the law. Your hands shall be first upon him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse ten. And thou shalt stone him with stones that he die, because he has sought to thrust thee away from Yahweh thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. Verse 11, and all Israel shall fear, it's like you shall hear and fear, and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. Yeah, man. So that was the law, and that was, that was the thing that we didn't keep, and that's the reason that we went into slavery, man. And, and and this this the things that you see in this museum is a clear evidence that we didn't do those things, man. That's right. Like you, like you said before, man. This 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 custom or this law was set up that these people, that our people, are gonna fear and don't do it anymore. Come. So this should be purging, purging us from this wickedness. This wickedness come. But because they hold back, this why wickedness spread, man. Yeah, man. That's why it became a snare it's and a festive, thorn in our side, man. Festive, like man. a habit, yeah. you know. Yeah, man. It's just like yeah, we do it, you know. Like if you got a like if you got a a, a splinter. From, from a tree in your hand and you don't address it, it gets infected and, and then it becomes more and more, your whole hand gets swollen, swollen. And, and red and then you gotta go, then the, everything is done just yeah, because man. of this little bitty thing. Mm -hmm. And, and it, that's how he's like, he's just one man. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he ain't gonna hurt nobody. He, he, he probably said, I don't wanna do it no more. And then what did he do? He ran, told three other dudes the same customs that he did and then they spread it and six and yeah, 12 and 13. Little 11. Huh? Little leaven leaven at the whole lump. A little leaven leaven at the whole lump. And yeah. if you, if you uh, do an uh, assassination move upon uh, upon uh, upon a group, mm -hmm. and then you let one escape, mm -hmm. and you are in their land as a bunch, like they're gonna come back with many. They're gonna come <laughs> back with many, man. Come. Come. You know, that's why you always see that in movies. Like, hey, if someone escapes, they stressing, man. Because yeah. <laughs> now they're gonna come back with the whole army, man. You gotta get them. Come. You know. You said Proverbs 5 and 1, right? That happened in this movie. I saw it um, a couple of weeks ago um, with uh, this new movie wherein they kind of show you the history of World War II and Vietnam. Mm -hmm. You have these Jakes, these elderly Jakes, uh, Jake actors. They go to uh, Vietnam mm -hmm. and then uh, they talk about the Jakes that fought in the Vietnam War and they just speak on that. Eventually, uh, these Vietnamese people, they, they um, assault them. And they let one guy go, and then they came back with a bunch of Vietnamese dudes, man, mm -hmm. trying to kill them. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, those Jakes, they killed the Vietnamese people mm -hmm. in order of Esau. You know, and okay. even back, those, back in those days, the Vietnamese people were telling uh, the Jakes over the radio station, don't fight the war for the so-called white man. They, mm -hmm. was, they was putting out the radio uh, stations for them, man. Yeah. Broadcasting, yeah. You want the name? Yeah. The Five Bloods. The Five Bloods, yeah. yeah they was calling them so, I said the Bloods, I man. It. I haven't watched it. Hey, Blood, it's yeah. talking like that. That's yeah. basically back in the day, Blood meaning family. Yeah, yeah family. You know? Yeah. And, um, blood and also, that, that movie goes also into... You saw it? Yeah, it also goes into uh, Rouse and Jacob, with this Black, Live, uh, uh, Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, also because that a little bit, but also uh, like, uh, hey, don't, don't think that... That uh, that the history that they be telling is is completely true, man. Because Jake did a lot of things back in the yeah. days, man. A lot of wars were were won because of Jake, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because of Jake in the front line. Yeah, the Civil War. They couldn't they couldn't finish it without Jake. They couldn't they, they couldn't beat the the Gadites either, man. Yeah, they couldn't. So they had to employ the help of them, and then they still discriminated against them once they helped them win. Exactly. That's where that uh, that um, movie Glory, uh, word Buffalo Soldier comes from. Uh, also, Jake came with that word Buffalo Soldier. Jake called the Gadites Buffalo Soldiers. Okay. You know. There's a movie called Glory where it shows like how they enlisted slaves, and they still treated them as slaves while they on the front lines. Yeah, yeah. that's Washington.
Denzel Washington. Yeah, he was crying and shit because he was whipping him. Mm -hmm. he, he, he fighting for America and they whipping him. Yeah, yeah man, it's crazy, man. You know? And that's what the Vietnamese was talking about, too. Anyway, the point of the story is that in that movie, you see uh, they, they leave one, uh, let one uh, run away, and then they get jacked up at the end, man. All, almost all of them got shot, mm -hmm. you know, and died. That's what happened in, uh, when you end up with the, that one that, that, that They go to a little bit outskirt of the land, they get a wife, and sure it is. six, seven years, they come back with 25 dudes, man. Me and Maya. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? Chapter 13. Come on, that's how they you, do it. You read uh, Leviticus chapter 18? What's up? Yeah. One? Yeah, start one. one. In, no, no, no. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 1. I'm not going to make it so long. Yeah. And read. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am Yahweh your power. After the doings of the land Spoiler of Egypt. Spoiler Where it dwells. <laughs> Who is that, Ragal? Ragal. I think I am you. My give us the, the cry of the humble. It's not that good, man. I was like, man, it's kind of a waste of time. So like, but you can watch it, Ark. You, you can. Go ahead, Ark. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Just because it goes on, I, I click on the chat. The whole story. <laughs> I click on the chat and I, and I be like, hey. I see the brother right there, man. Was, oh, he, he came, yeah, but you came and he just he just posted it. He started laughing. <laughs> God, <laughs> um, verse three again. After the doings of the land, no, so start one. One. Yeah, so like Leviticus eighteen and one, and Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, "Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am Yahweh your power." After the doings of the land of Egypt, when you when so like when you dwelt, shall you not do? Mm -hmm. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, where I bring you, shall you not do? Exactly. But the only thing we see over there is is is, um, is those customs, man. Mm -hmm. And even the masks, the mask that they made was oftentimes masks of animals, man. Mm -hmm. Now give me that in uh, in uh, in the book of Baruch. It speaks about the masks of. Um, of um, of animals. Hereby you know that they are not gods. Uh, Baruch chapter um, six, uh, six, six, verse twenty-two. Okay. Read that. You? I got it. So this is Baruch chapter six and verse twenty-two. Yeah. Upon their bodies and their heads sat bet sit bats, swallows, mm -hmm. and birds and cats also. Yeah. But by the this ye may know that they are no gods. By this ye may know that they are no gods. So this goes back to the Egyptian Empire. They had uh, Amen Ra mm -hmm. with the swallow yeah. uh, head. They had Anubis. the Anubis Anubis with, the, with the wolf and the yeah. and the dog head and the cat head, the lioness head. Ra. Uh, yeah, Ra. Uh -huh. They had all these these fake gods that had the heads of of, of animals. Mm -hmm. Now when you go into the uh, museum. You see that our people made masks of animals too. That's right. Animals and even beyond animals, like fucking crazy ass entities, man. Know. But yeah. but it, just to focus on the on the animals real quick, that still goes back to the Canaanite uh, uh, customs, man. Which the most I said in Leviticus don't keep those customs, man. Read it again. Um, Leviticus 18 and 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, where you dwell, shall you not do? And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you? Surely you not to. Exactly, but we still did it, man. Mm -hmm. That's why, uh, give me Ezekiel chapter 16. Uh, look for it. It says, like, um, your father was an Amorite, and uh, you, you're supposed to know where it is. Your yeah. father was an Amorite, and your mother uh, hit yeah. by something like Can that. Can you say something? Yeah. Because um, when, when I think of these girls of Egypt, I remember always the series I watched when I was young on, like, the television. And they push it on the younger generation, not knowing, because your parents don't tell you that it's off. And that's the thing, they indoctrinate the younger generation from the jump, even like the museums, they show you this normal. Yeah. You know, and that's, 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 the, that's the wrong thing that they do. Yeah. And that's the thing, man. That's why the scripture says, train up a child in the way he should go, and then he shall not depart from it. That's, right. that's why you see that these Muslim people, their children, they, they just grow up with the customs and they just do those things, man. Even they don't do, even they do, they do all kinds of wicked stuff. They smoke, they smoke weed, they drink. You know, which, uh, those are all kinds of things that they ain't supposed to do, right? Even though they all do all these things, they do keep the Ramadan. Mm -hmm. They do keep their customs that as a cultural reason. Mm -hmm. So if you just train your child, you can you can 
make him do the, the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Right. So what our people used to do is be, keep teaching them these these um, false philosophies, man, and these wicked wicked customs, man, which that should stop in order for them to learn what righteousness is, man. So so to go back to the to the masks with uh, with um, uh, with animals, um, they are people would put on those uh, those um, those suits. And uh, they would make music. So what you see in the museum also is uh, all these the instruments. Drums. And uh, like the brothers uh, that are here from Suriname, they also know a lot about it, about the music. Yeah. They play music in a certain vibration, and that vibration conscious of the spirits, the entities. And then they would say that the man that's wearing that mask and that suit is having that entity in him, right. and then they worship the, him. Right. They right. worship right. him, right. and then he dances and stuff like that. And you see, you see some cra some some crazy shit, man. They have some videos online where all of a sudden the suit becomes empty. It falls. Right, right, right. right. Nobody right. is in right. it no more. Right, right, right. So right. That, that shows you that they are really dealing with with entities, man. Right. They're really dealing with entities. So you want to say? Babakasha. Uh, yeah, the brother had a pre precept also. Uh, he, he had it for you. Uh, this is a GMS through the spirit, Holland 2. Ezekiel. Uh... Who's, that? Who's that brother? <laughs> Who's that brother? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> God, wait. <laughs> Ezekiel, uh, <laughs> first, uh, chapter 60, verse 3. King James Version uh, and say. Yeah, that's, right. that, that, that's, that's what I just wanted. wanted. Yeah. yeah, you wanted that. And say, Thus said the Lord uh, Yahweh unto Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy uh, nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite and thy mother an Hittite. Shalom Ak, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wahara Hakadash. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so um, can you read that scripture again? This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 3. And say, Thus saith the Lord, thy power unto mm -hmm. Jerusalem, thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Yeah, so that birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. So if you read this, you might think like, huh, what does this mean, man? Because we, we are birth and nativity of the land of Canaan. Read. Thy father was an Amorite. How was the father of the, of the children of Israel an Amorite? Read. And thy mother a, an Hittite. Uh, mm -hmm. The mother of... Israel, the mother of the Israelites, a Hittite, and the father of the Israelites, an Amorite. No, what this spiritually represents is that we do after their customs. We was doing after the customs of the Hamites, of the Canaanites that were in the land, because we did not destroy them utterly. Okay. okay. You yeah, done? Yeah. And, and as for thy nativity, in the day thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in the water to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. None I pitied thee to do any of these unto thee, to have compassion upon thee. But thou was cast out unto the open field to the loathing of thy person mm -hmm. in the day that thou was born. Gone, gone. That was it. That was it. We can also so. jump to... Um, uh, it wasn't given no customs, man. It wasn't given none of the understanding. Yeah, you have a precept? Go on. Go on, read the precept. This is uh, Ezekiel 8 and 12. So jump to verse 36. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancient of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his, Im of his imagery, for they say, the Lord seeth us not. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. So that's, mm -hmm. that goes back to what the brother was talking about, man, that our people do things in secret. secret. Okay. You know, worship entities in secret, keep doing their wickedness. That's what we saw also. Like, they, they, uh, our people uh, held fast to the Bible, but on the low, on, on the other scale, they were still doing their voodoo and their witchcraft mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You see that in Suriname too, right? Mm -hmm. You have people they believe in the, in the God of the Bible, but then they are still busy with a little bit of witchcraft, a little bit, of, yeah. a little yeah. bit yeah. of phobia, yeah. a little bit of they, they call they it culture. Yeah. It's, uh, the culture of us. It's yeah. the culture. That's yeah. what they call yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But they Christians, right? But, yeah. but they Christians, but they do Bruharia, yeah. everything, man. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's what it is, yeah. man. Our people, yeah, man. Our people don't don't let go of these things, man. But I believe in God. 
We don't. <laughs> God. But they don't say, Yahweh, yeah. by Shem Yahushai, see it does not. Yahweh had forsaken the earth. Mm -hmm. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Yeah, man. Then he and that's what happened, man. We turned back to the Heavenly Father and went back into the abominations. Turned back to the Heavenly Father, went back into the uh, abominations. If you if you read the book of Judges, that's and Joshua, that's what constantly <laughs> happened, man. It's like they just couldn't get That's what that. constantly happened. That's why the brother Nehemiah. 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 Chapter 9. Nehemiah chapter 9. Yeah, we was always going off and going to captivity. The Lord would raise up the judge, uh, you know, uh -huh. to, 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 to deliver us. Mm -hmm. Then we go back doing the same wicked thing. <laughs> go back into that captivity. Yeah, that's you why know? you po uh, that's why you um, posted. You said uh, you read um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Because right. it, uh, uh, you know, it keeps coming back, man. Right, right. It keeps coming back. This is... Uh, Ezekiel 8 and 13, he, mm -hmm. said, un, he said also unto me, yeah. turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Uh -huh. Verse 14, then he brought me to the door of the gate of Yahweh's house, which uh -huh. was toward the north. And behold, there sat a woman weeping for Tammuz. Mm -hmm. we, we saw a whole lot of that. We saw a whole lot of that too, man. Like uh, they make, um, they craft uh, statues from wood. And then they make a female with the with the child, man. Yeah. Which that goes back to uh, to Ceramicus uh, and Tammuz, man. Mm -hmm. um, Just like baby Jesus and Mary. Baby Jesus and Mary, yeah. Mm -hmm. They have they have it uh, also on top of their huts too. Yeah. On top of their huts. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah man. Yeah. So because like that's a... that's also a custom that goes back to the Ishmaelites. They put the the idols as high as possible. That's why back in the days. Before, um, before they, uh, before Muhammad established his uh, so-called religion by the hand of Khadija, who was an Israelite, they had 360 gods uh, per year. For every day of the year, they had a god. Mm -hmm. Now, what what was uh, uh, on top of the um, Kaaba stone was the three main gods that they worshipped, and one of those uh, main gods that they worshipped was uh, Hubal, which Hubal. It's uh, it's um it's uh, no it's not Ishtar. Ubal is um, Baal, Baal, which goes back to Nimrod also, and uh, Ubal represents the god of the moon. That's why what you see upon all these mosques is the crescent moon, man. Okay. It's evident that they worship the moon, man. That their their whole religion goes into moon worship, man. You know, so you got the the, the Islam on the on the one side and the and the and church on the right uh, on the not on the right side. I mean on the other side. The one is on the, about the sun, the other one is about the moon. I'm going to say it about the sun here. Go ahead. Go this is uh, Ezekiel 8 and 15. And then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. Mm -hmm. And he brought me into the inner courts of Yahweh's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men with their backs towards the temple of the Lord and their faces towards the east and they worship the sun toward the east. They worship the sun towards the east, man, which the sun goes goes also, in, also into Satan, right? Mm -hmm. so, you know, mm -hmm. sun god, Satan. Right. So go back to Leviticus. It's also going to explain that why, you know, we're being punished, but I don't know if you want that. You want that? that yeah, yeah, you can read that. Yeah. Uh, verse 17. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen these, O son of man? Is it the light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger. Mm -hmm. And lo, they, and lo, they put the branch to their to their nose. Mm -hmm. Therefore will I also deal in fury. Mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. Yeah, so like you can clearly see, it, the scripture says that again, they did it again. They provoked me unto anger again. And then it says over there, I, I don't know if you caught it, but it says they put the branch through their nose. Yeah. Read it again. Come on, this is first, uh, you only want that part? Or the whole yeah, part? only that part. Because there are Israelites that say that that means that you are allowed to smoke weed. 
put the branch to the nose like you you putting a doobie in your mouth okay. is that complete garbage of course because that was a, a wicked custom that that we was uh, used to do um to uh, to uh, pay homage to uh, to a babylonian gods man you know put the stick to the nose we it's, it's in ezekiel 8 and 17. Mm -hmm. for they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger and lo they put the branch to their nose. Yeah, the branch, like yeah, putting the branch to their nose, man. That's not talking about putting a doobie in your mouth, you dummy. You know, it goes back to Babylonian uh, uh, customs, man. Baba you know? Because here you also see it's about uh, worshipping uh, um, the sun, which is Baal, worshipping Tammuz, crying for Tammuz. Okay. You know, and then you have a scripture in Ezekiel also where it speaks about them worshipping the Queen of Heaven, man. Because that, and that's what we also see in, in, the, in the museum, man. They're worshiping the queen of, queen of heaven. What they do is they make statues and they carve the statues and they make a female with very uh, big they roundings and stuff. The big hips. They even had the vagina and the clit, the clitoris and everything yeah, showing. Big like, ass they carved clit. it out, man. Gun, it out. I'm like, what the hell? What? So you, know, what you see worship. there is yeah. you see Jake and and uh, and uh, hermetic things uh, aligned with each other. Man. That's what I have to say. This is what I saw and I. I told one of the brothers, this is the hand of uh, Hamza, you know, the queen of heaven. Uh, yeah. You know, the hand with the eye, but the eye... They call it the uh, Fatima, the hand of yeah, Fatima, Fatima also. Yeah. Show it in the camera. Yeah. All the yeah. are yeah. 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 Baba Kesha, can I say something? Yeah. Uh, also, the Papa Legba. He had that. Uh, he had a pipe in his mountain. He was smoking the branch, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was all voodoo and all entangled with each other, you know. Yeah, you have a you have an ancient uh, um, sculpture. When you saw Jake's, they put the, the stick to the nose and then they put it in the air. Gun. You know, you have all these rituals and, and and things. What Jake used to do to pay homage to these to these entities and idols, man. You know. Okay. Uh, this is Ezekiel 36. I mean Ezekiel 16. Oh wait, Slack. Like, yeah, he, he, he had to read um, um, Leviticus. Leviticus. Yeah. Can I show the Hamza real quick? Yeah, the, yeah. The show, comparison. Show. Yeah. Did you see that it's, it's talking about this? You see, it's the hand with the with the eye or with the vagina. Gone. Yeah. Can you read this? Yeah. Leviticus 3. Would I uh, would I bring you? So you not so you not do neither. So you walk in the ordinances. Verse 4, you shall do my judgments and keep my ordinances to walk there. I am Yahweh your power. Verse 5, you shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am Yahweh. Yeah. Verse 6. But we didn't do that. That's why our ass went into slavery, man. <laughs> that's why we went into slavery. Okay. You know, and that's why these devils now put up all these, these hedonistic customs that we did in their museum. Man. I got a quick free, sir. You know, but next to that they got our gold, they got our gemstones. Yeah, why did why did the most allow them to to take all our um um uh, precious uh, things, man? Yeah. Because we was wicked. Yeah. The most was like, away. listen, man, y'all don't deserve this this precious this this fat of the earth, man. Y'all don't deserve these gemstones, man. Y'all don't deserve to have this gold around your neck, man. Mm -hmm. These devils is gonna take it. The 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 least of the earth, man. The scum of the earth. The filth of the earth, man. Yeah, because uh, the Lord decked us out. Man. The, board you know, the, the Lord huh? dressed us up, decked us out, had us looking beautiful, you know. And the other nations, they would they despise it, they were envious. Yeah. But what do we do? We just, you know, we despise the Heavenly Father's covenant, man. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. and I got a piece up to that. If, uh, and then, and then when we had, and then when we had the the ability or the 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 possibility, mm -hmm. let me better say it like that, mm -hmm. to turn back to the Heavenly Father, guess what? Yahusha was a stumbling block also, man. Mm -hmm. Yahusha was a stumbling block also. The moment that we had the possibility to be like, okay, let uh, we pray Yahweh Shai forgive us for everything we've done. The moment we had have that chance, our people still despise it. Back in those days in the time of Israel, Yahusha was a stumbling block unto them, and now again, man. Being in mm -hmm. 2020, man. Yeah. Well, the brother, the brother Yaramiah from the GMS Chicago camp, man. <laughs> I, I reposted his rant, man. Yeah. He flipped the fuck out, man, because it's 2020 and our people are still, still asleep, man. 
still doing dumb shit and still claiming that they are Christians and stuff like that, man. <laughs> you dummy, man. But getting oppressed on every side still. Yeah, man. I got scripture? Here it is, you want to claim Black Lives Matter. Here you want to say like this this whole society is white supremacy, but you but you praying to Jeezy Crazy, man. You're praying to Jesus Christus. What you doing, man? What you doing, man? This is uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 6. He was sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it, read it. But read it again. Read it's it no again. problem, man. Read it again. <laughs> this spirit is done from me. Yeah, man. Uh, you, <laughs> you were sold to, your na uh, to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye have moved the Most High, Yahweh, to wrath, mm -hmm. you were delivered unto your enemies. Exactly. So now, again, man, Christ people are wrath. moving the Heavenly Father to wrath, man. Mm -hmm. So they are also going to be delivered unto the enemies, man. Because Esau is about to make a move, man. Esau is setting the stage right now. Esau is... It's preparing everything to have a reason to move up on you jakes man you know and the, the jakes that are still to this day moving the most side to rev they're gonna get got by esau man the so-called white man talking about uh, uh, a, a national um the national guard is gonna be uh, active uh, activated soon again uh, together with military troops in america hey man martial law is on its way man you troops. better believe it yeah, gone tournament camps yeah, man. They, they already got it set up in all, all over the place. That's right. That's and right. I don't even understand what Rock 84 is. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why our people are still dead to this day. You know, they don't even know who they are. They that's think right. They're African and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you don't know where you come from, how you know where you're gonna go? That's right. Yes, gonna end up in an internment camp because the Rex 84 is basically about Jakes, man, rising up. And what's going on right now? Jake's that's the okie doke, you know. That's the okie doke, you know. Mm -hmm. Getting Jake pissed off. They're doing this on purpose. They're doing it because they're spreading it. They are on purpose spreading it across the media, man. Like, right. hey, they really fucking you people up, man. And then they, they start bringing up all what they the do, old, and, yeah, and all the old things. Yeah, it's like uh, up, young black blood. and white videos of yeah, man. Yeah. the 1999 of Jake, man. Showing all of the Tulsa, Oklahoma bombings and yeah, just man. trying everything to get you and what, all lit. Because it was on the TV, right? Yeah. We were, we was checking out the TV, and then all of a sudden they brought, brought up uh, Bla uh, Black Wall Street, man. Yeah. I was like, huh? Yeah. I haven't heard about Black Murderous. Wall Street for a long time. Yeah. And yeah. now all of a sudden yeah. they put it on the uh, on the news yeah. channels and also on the alternate uh, alternative news, news channels, channels, man. Yeah. That you yeah. go to to actually wa watch some real news. Showing all of the interviews of survivors, and then describing it, describing all the things that happened. Yeah, man. So this is this is okay. Though. That's basically. Sparing none, you know, coming in like mad men. That's right, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So the oh. brother has a couple of, huh? Battery is almost over. Who feel percent? Uh, 10%. Hey, that's going to be quick. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Also, the, the Oxnow is, is owner, right? The S knows the master script, but people don't consider it. Our people don't consider it, man. That's right. Come. Our people are, are greedy to go into witchcraft, uh, witchcraft right. and uh, mischief, man. Mm -hmm. So finish, uh, read the, uh, the precepts on the common board. Okay, so this is uh, the brother GMS through the spirit, all in Deuteronomy 17, pursuit. If there be found among you within any of thy gates, which the Lord, thy power, giveth thee, man or woman that had wrought wickedness, man or woman, uh, man or woman that wrought wickedness in the sight of Yahweh thy power in transgression in transgressing his covenant for three and had gone and served other gods and worshipped them either the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven yeah, man. which I have not commanded and it be told thee and thou hast heard of it and inquired diligently and behold it be true and the thing certain that such abomination is wrought in Israel, then shalt thou bring forth that man or that woman which hath committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shall stone them with stones till they die. Exactly. Judgment, man. Judgment. That's right. Because we're already doing the same thing. Yeah. 
It's, it's the same man. thing. Yeah, yeah, right. Deuteronomy 13 yeah. and this is Deuteronomy yeah. 17. Yeah, yeah, man, double tapping, man. Yeah, man, that's right. Yeah, that's like, really you know, you saw with, you know, with the pistol and the double tap. This is Ezekiel 16 and 36. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh power, because thy filthiness was poured out. 16 and 36. Come. And thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers and with all the idols of thine abominations and by the blood of thy children which thou didst give unto them. Behold, therefore I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure. And which are these idols, entities, mm -hmm. false gods. The Moses is going to gather all of them up, man. Read. And all them that thou hast loved with all them that thou hast hated I will even gather them round about against thee, mm -hmm. and I will discover thy nakedness unto them, mm -hmm. that they may see all thy nakedness. Mm -hmm. And I will judge thee as a woman that break wedlock and shed blood are judged. And I will give thee blood in fury and jealousy. Exactly, man. Because at a certain point, even the Hamites was looking at us like, ugh, y'all going far with this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had Jakes in the time of the uh, in the time of the Greeks and the Romans that worshipped unto uh, Hercules, man, and they gave so many golden coins unto Hercules that even the keepers of of the treasury was like, hmm? you sacrificing so much unto Hercules? Why are you doing that, man? It like, makes no sense. You can use it in a better way, man. And then in the book of Hosea, to close it off with that, um, you can jump to uh, verse fifty-five. Okay. When, while I look for that scripture, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 55. When thy sisters, Sodom and her daughters, exactly. shall return. Why to are the sisters of Judah and ben, uh, Judah and Israel, Sodom and her daughters? Because we did after the customs of them, man. Uh, homosexuality, bestiality, all the things that the Heavenly Father told us in, in the book of Le uh, Leviticus, mm -hmm. chapter 18, 19, not to do, man. Mm -hmm. The Father shall, uh, 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 shall not see the nakedness. Mm -hmm of him mm -hmm. uh, you shall not see the nakedness of your father you shall not, not see the nakedness yeah. of the of the wife of your father mm -hmm. you shall not see the nakedness of your sister you shall not lay down with the beast a man shall not uh, defile himself with another man with mankind That's both true. shall be an abomination they have to be put to death all these things man mm -hmm. our people neglected that and now there's a whole museum full with all the wickedness of jake man and that's crazy man you just get amazed looking at that so again, uh, Ezekiel 16 and 55, when thy sisters, Sodom and her daughters, shall return to their former estate, and Samaria and her daughters shall return to their former estate, then thou and thy daughter shall return to two. your former estate. 16. For thy sister Sodom was not mentioned in ah. my mouth in the day of thy pride, mm -hmm. before thy wickedness was discovered, as at the time of thy reproach of the daughters of Syria, mm -hmm. and all that are round about her, the daughters of the Philistines yes. were surprised thee round about. So, it's talking about the uh, so after the customs of Sodom and Gomorrah and the five neighboring cities, the, the, the customs of the Assyrians, mm -hmm. the customs of, of uh, um, the Philistines. You can't keep going on, man. We did everything besides worshiping our Basham Shai. So now, this scripture comes to pass, man. This is Hosea 2 and 16. And it, and it shall be at the day, say if you how which we are in that day right now. Mm -hmm. That thou shall call me Ishi. Yeah, Ishi in the Hebrew is huh? Ayash. Ayash. Ishi in the Hebrew is Ayash, which is husband. Mm -hmm. That shall call me Ishi, which mm -hmm. is uh, Ayash in the in the real Hebrew, mm -hmm. which is husband, man, mm -hmm. and no more. And shall call me no more Bali, which is Baal. Mm -hmm. So. The the Heavenly Father is like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna stop with that Baal nonsense, man. Worshiping yeah. Satan, man. Y'all gonna call me your husband. Yeah. That's that's the day that we are in right now, man. Yeah. So give me the last scripture, Tobit chapter uh, uh no not Tobit. Exodus 23 and 13. Yeah, this is Exodus chapter 23 and 13. And all things that I have said unto you. Be circumspect exactly. and make no mention of the name of other gods. That's what we have to do. Man. We have to be circumspect and not make mention of other gods. So now, back in those days, in the days that we are in, uh, in right now, be circumspect what you what you what you checking out, man. Like if you are well rooted in this truth, you can check out whatever you want, man. But don't get caught up into that bullshit, man. 
You know, you can have a debate with a certain person that believes in all kinds of nonsense, but don't get caught up into it, man. Because that's the reason that we went into slavery, man. That's right. That's the reason that these devils rule over us today, man. God. Because we was not being circumspect. We added onto the scriptures. We made up things. All of a sudden, uh, uh, we created uh, uh, things from wood and worshipped it. We 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 made up. Um, how you call that? Um, um, uh, no no no. Um, how you call that thing? Superstitious yes. things, superstitious things. Yes. Superstitious. Yes. Walk behind, don't walk under the ladder, all this bullshit, man. That's not scriptural, man. See a That's black right. Cat the most a black cat yeah, walking across. Yeah, kind of. When you drop salt, all these, all these things is not scriptural. So you don't have to worry about these things because the heavenly Father take care of you, man. If there, if people put spells upon you, because in the book of Ezekiel it speaks about. Uh, our children of Israel, females, taking your uh, uh, bracelets and stuff like that, putting entities upon it. It does speak about that, but when you, when you walk in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Shai, you don't have to fear all those yes. things. Man. Mm -hmm. Read. And, uh, it says, uh, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Yeah, so these, these names of these other gods ain't supposed to be in our mouths at all, man. You know, but still our people worship uh, La Virgen de Guadalupe, you know, which is uh, Le Cruzia Brazier. You know, yeah. the sister of uh, Cesare Bogier. We worship Cesare Bogier or Cesare himself. You know, our people do all kinds of abominations, man. But the time is now that we are gonna call the Heavenly Father Ayash and not Baal, man. Okay. No, 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 it's cool, man. Because the battery is about to die. So, yeah. with that, we wanna give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rakakadash. Ba'ashem Rakakadash. Ba'ashem to the Elder Apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom. 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 Shalom.